Hey there, Gamer Obscure here, continuing Earthbound. We are in the Tucson department store. We rescued Paula in the previous episode, and now it's time to take her back home just so she can join me on the adventure. It's kind of like with Princess Peach in Mario RPG, taking her back to the Mushroom Kingdom, and then she sneaks out. So anyways, here we are, back at Polestar, home sweet home. And I'm sure all the kids super happy to see her. No, they just say the same thing. What is this? Paula's right here. What the hell, man? Anyways, let's get her to her dad. Where is he? What? what? We were just in that room. He wasn't there. What the heck? Wh where did he come from? Was he hiding under a table or something? What is this? But no, he's actually letting her go on the adventure. Uh, she seems kind of surprised about this. But obviously... She knows what's up. She knows she's powerful enough. And she even mentions that the next town over, we're gonna get another member of the party. So that's pretty cool. Now he's following us around. Come on, Dad, I'm a grown woman. Leave me alone. Yahoo! Woo! He has to talk to, talk to Paula's mom now. Miraculous power. We'll stand up to any challenge. But she's given us a handmade Band-Aid. It's a Hand-Aid. <laughs> What? She got the hand-aid. Yeah, we did meet Dad. And we know Everdred's not the culprit. We need to go talk to him yet. Because he told us. Wait, who's this guy? Ness? Everdred's looking for- Yeah, I know! I was just talking about that, sir. And I mentioned it in the previous episode. And probably other episodes, because Everdred specifically said, Remember to come find me after you rescue Paula. So, let's go to Everdred's house and see what he's got to say. What? Did he jump from somewhere? What was that? Wait, he was gonna ask me to be his partner? He's proposing to me. Yeah, I will refuse. I have a girlfriend now, Everdred. It would never work out between us. He's gonna bribe me to, to be with him. That's kind of creepy. Everdred, you're a creepy man. He's just giving it to us now. What a sugar daddy. Good lord. What? Where is this commentary going? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Gam, just shut up for a moment. Good grief. But actually, he gave the money to Paula. And hey, I don't think we ever fought a cranky old lady. <laughs> Somehow the blue face. <laughs> oh my god, look at this thing. <laughs> oh my god. What is she wearing? <laughs> oh, this game. This game is just ridiculous. I love it. And I can't believe... Man, I wish that first playthrough of mine... Like, that very first playthrough... I wish... I appreciated it the way I appreciate it now. Because it deserved it. I did this game dirty... The first time through, and I feel so bad. Because you never get... You never get the first playthrough of a game back. You just can't. Maybe if you played it and then didn't play it again for like 20 years or something. Oh god, the mushroom. You know what? We'll fight the mushroom, because we've still not seen one. So let's do it. The rambling, gambling mushroom. No, it's the rambling, evil mushroom. And actually, I can show off some Apollo's skills here. So she has this special prey thing. Holy shit! Damn! She prayed the mushroom into oblivion. Holy balls. That prey command is crucial at the end of the game, as you'll see. But it does random stuff. Sometimes it heals you, sometimes it damages the enemy, as you saw. Sometimes it lowers some of your stats. It's, 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 it's a gamble every time. But sometimes you get lucky and something like that happens. It's pretty sweet. So yeah, we gotta backtrack all the way to Happy Happy Village. So rather than just show all that, we'll just see you there. Oh, great. Oh, great. The oak tree saw me. There was no way around it. But that's fine, because we've not seen these either. So the oak tree... And I was talking about this before. Like, that's the last thing we're attacking. You can't... You can't. If you somehow knock that tree out, you're done for. Unless it's the last thing. Because it explodes. It's going to explode, and we don't have... Shoot. Actually... He's getting pretty low on health. So we'll fire... Oh, 
whatever. This might actually take it out, because the thing's probably going to be weak to fire. Nope. All right. Cool. Because this thing's going to blow up. This thing's going to blow up when we defeat it, and we're going to be dead. Except no, because with the rolling HP, we should be able to... No! Oh, man. Paula was just too low on health. And look how creepy the screen gets when someone collapses. Oh, man. But yeah, as you can see, when it dies, it counters with that. And... Yeah, if there's still enemies on the screen, you're in trouble. So learn which enemies do that. And those are the ones you always want to attack last. And like, Paula's just this little ghost now. Oh my god. And we're getting chased down by the tree. Dude. This is fine though, because we'll get to see the hospital and how that works. So it's not a big deal. I mean, I can show myself wandering through the caves. There's not that much left. I mean, we're already here. So where was the hospital in this place? Not over there. That's for damn sure. It's like in the northeast part of town, I believe. I guess this little house here. Yeah, and there's a healer dude. That's the dude there. He'll buy the mushrooms off you or something. So th this isn't cheap either. Wait, 35 bucks? Well, that's not bad. Wait, what do you mean you don't think anyone has anything like that? This is... Who do you want to see? Paula was just brought in, still in contact. There we go, 110 bucks. Let's say that sounds a little more accurate. Yeah, so you definitely don't want people fainting. Ugh. You know what, but I'm glad it happened. I mean, I apologies to Paula for being glad she fainted, but it's nice to see that kind of stuff. Oh, great, the moles. The moles! Mole playing rough, I think is what they're called. Yeah, shoot. Ah, whatever. We'll just attack. I don't think these things are going to be that strong, but you never know. It's pretty fast, this mole is anyways. Because Ness is slow. It's kind of a bummer. Like, Paula outspeeds him, and she's several levels behind. But we need the experience. Hey, Paula's level 9 now. Damn, I was hoping for a big level there. Just not lucky enough, I guess. I saw a bear. And who wants to be a bus driver when they could be a bear? Two bats? Crap, I don't know if these things... Are these things hard? I'm not sure. 16? Oh my god. Crap, man. Um... Like, it's not even worth... What do I have here? I have a croissant. We'll give that to Paula. And... I don't even know. Like, the freeze attack is really good. In my experience, anyways. So, let's see what this does. It's kind of a good general attack. Yeah, 125. Not bad at all. 304 experience. And we got more bats to fight. And a mole. But I gotta heal up. We gotta heal up Ness. Actually, shit! She didn't even get the chance to eat the croissant, because the battle was over. So we're gonna use that on Paula. There we go. Shoot, man. Now we got a mole and bats. Crap. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. You do the mole, and Paula can do the bats with fire, because that does a whole row. Wait, what? Oh, great. Dude. He's being absent minded. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, some of these. Ness was able to move. Alright. So you do that, and we're just gonna fire the bats one more time. Hopefully. Shit. Mole, go away, please. I can't deal with this. She's so weak. Yeah, there's no way I would have gotten through here without going back to Tucson first. Oh my god, she has one hit point. Please become tame. Yes! Oh man. This is brutal. At least she leveled up. Offense went up, speed went up. I don't care about any of that. Damn, still not a big level. What can you do though? It's like the skull on the ground. No problem here, just a skull on the ground. Like that wouldn't be terrifying for two little kids to find. <laughs> hey, a great charm. That's probably gonna be pretty good for Paula, I bet. So why don't we give that to her, but let's find out what it does first. Protects you from paralysis, adds a bit of speed. Shoot, that might actually be better for Ness. 
And we can give the travel charm to Paula. There we go. Alright, so you equip... You equip the great charm. Get your speed up. And Paula can equip the travel charm. So she's immune to paralysis. I need... Shoot, I don't have a hamburger. That's right, I got rid of the hamburgers. She does have a bread roll, though. I don't know what that's gonna do for her. 30 HP. Oh my god, they're back? How? Oh my god, I think I have enough. Yes! I have enough iframes to get away from that bat. Oh man, there's no way you're getting through here with Paula at level 1. She'd be collapsing every battle. Dude! Oh, thank goodness. The mole left a croissant behind. So let's give that to Paula right away. Yeah. Oh, great. More bats. Yay, less, less is level 19 now. Heck yes. Not a great level, and Paula's 11. Dude, please, I want a big level. Hey, she got freeze beta, though. That's even better. However... We need to heal here. Ness for sure. He's he's even lower than Paula is on HP, but there we go. He's finally getting to the point where that's not maxing him out anymore. Ah, oh, shoot, I missed a present over there. There's no way I'm backtracking to that, though. And now we have a bear. This fat guy. <laughs> he's so cute! He's so cute, he's adorable! The mighty bear. We're gonna freeze him. Let's try Freeze Beta 9, though. 9 PP for that. But check out the damage this is gonna do. 225. There we go. See you later, Mighty Bear. Go be a bus driver. What the hell, man? Oh, another one! <laughs> I love the little face! That Freeze Beta was total overkill, though. That time I just did a Freeze Alpha, and it still took it out. Yes, a butterfly. I needed that so bad. Oh, man. That is just what I needed. Holy crap. And there were enemies down here that are gone now. Shit! Yeah, this is great. One bash from Ness, and a Freeze Alpha takes out the bear. Dang, Paul's level 12 now. Offense went up by 3. Speed went up by 3. Holy crap. Getting a couple O babies. HP up by 21. Heck to the yes. Oh man, what a level that was. And I think we gotta be getting close to the boss here. Oh shit, there's a lot of stuff over there. Another present, but wait. There's more. No, I can get it from this side. Man, I'm actually almost kind of hoping I can get one more level. Before the big boss. Hey, a Psy Caramel. That's nice. No, the big boss is right here. But actually, let's check. 1708, 181. Yeah, we're gonna fight one more thing. And get Paula one more level. Here we go. Here we go, a bear and some bats. Actually, the bear wasn't part of that battle. And Paula's level 13. And all I got was 2 HP. That's all I got from that. You gotta be kidding me. But whatever. Here, we'll life up Ness, kind of a waste, but you get you get all this stuff back after the boss. So here we go, you finally got here. This is the second your sanctuary location. It's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. It's also the, the easiest one to miss if you ask me. But anyways, this is Mondo Mole, and this is all you gotta do here. Just do paralysis, and he's a goner. So we'll just do a couple... Well, no, shoot. I only get one freeze beta. 18? Shoot! And he just healed himself. What a dick. What a dick. But that's fine, because he's paralyzed now. He's numb. He's a numb wiener. Dickam! What the hell? What the hell, man? So this is... He can't do shit for the rest of the battle. So all we gotta do is just bash him to death. Actually, why don't I just try praying with Paula? Maybe I'll get lucky. Rainbow colored light. I don't know what that means. Oh shit, he can still recover himself, he just can't attack. That's a bummer. I mean, that's fine. Hey! Yeah, we recovered a little bit. Not very much. Hey, getting some PP there. So obviously, ice is not helpful here. Let's try fire. Let's 
that going to do? 28? That's not real good either. How about that, though? You know what? Let's try rocking. We'll just try rocking. What's that going to do? 76? That's really not that great either. Hey, get more PP, though. So this thing's pretty resilient when it comes to your magic attacks. Dang, a critical hit. Oh, he's, uh, he's tame already. What a joke. What a joke. 2,800 experience points. Dang, Nessa's level 20? Offense up by three. This is a good level. Holy crap. HP by 26. And now he knows life up beta. And Paula's level 14. She needs some better levels, man. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, she did have that good one just before we fought that guy. But here we go. It's the Lilliput Steps. Yeah, the last playthrough I did of this, I forgot to come back here. And I went through the whole game not realizing I missed this thing. And it wasn't until pretty much the very end I realized I was missing one of the sanctuary locations. And I was driving myself nuts trying to figure out which one it was. So I eventually had to look up a guide. But yeah, there we go. We're done with that. Now we got to get all the way back out. But nothing wants to fight us. Yeah, nothing wants to fight us anymore, but we need the experience, so we're gonna fight it anyways. Dang, Paula's level 15 now? So she is catching up pretty good here. Hey, Psy Magnet A. That's good, because now she can steal PP from enemies. Oh, man. Am I going the right way? There's that one gift that I missed earlier. No, I just went in a big circle. I don't feel like going after that bear. But you definitely want the experience. And now that things are running away from me, it'll be a lot easier to get that present. This is great. I'm damn near one-shotting these things now. It's crazy. Like, I'm only two levels higher than I was when I came in here. And this stupid mole running away. What a weenie. I see the bear over there. I love the bear. The bear sprite is the best. All right, Mole, you're mine. Can I get an insta-kill? No. That's bogus. It actually made me bash it twice. Like, it didn't get to do anything. Well, that time I got an insta-kill. What the hell? How's that any different than the other one? Let's get him. Is this gonna be an insta-kill? Yeah, what? It was just that one Mole that I actually had to fight. That's really weird. That's really weird. Anyways, here we are. We still got to get back to Tucson, though. So, it's kind of a long walk, so we'll just see you there. Hey, Nessa's level 21. I mean, I got an insta-kill on a single mobile sprite, and that's what sent him over the edge. Heck yes. As you can see, we are very close to Tucson. So, I'll just show the rest of the walk to the department store where I can save, and he's coming for me! Hey, now Paula leveled up. She's level 16. Offense and defense up by two. Anytime you can get her offense and defense up, that's great. And that does rock. PP up by 10. Holy crap. And here's a butterfly. Might as well take it. So we're going to go save at the department store. And then we'll get the heck out of Tucson and on to the next village next time. Don't attack me, bro. Uh, hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.